What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have two pretty massive things. Well, one much bigger than the other being Live Arena starts today, global release, which is either going to be super successful and amazing, tons of fun, or players are going to start playing it, realize that it takes way too long, and then players are going to have to make some changes. I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm not for sure if everybody else will. But I was hoping to stream this today. Unfortunately, I don't think my schedule is going to allow me to because I'm going to be away at least 30 minutes in every single one of these. So I could I could uh, play some Live Arena, but I'm probably not going to be able to stream it. However, I do plan to stream it tomorrow. Today, I want to talk about the Razzlevarg Fusion. So I did a video talking about him yesterday, and I plan to do some more videos on him. If you want to see him tested out in any specific content, let me know. Somebody messaged me and gave me an idea to test him alongside Ronda because of all of his turns paired with Ronda and the team who has a chance to join in. Where is Ronda at? I forget. What, what faction is she? Barbarian? No, nah, she's not barbarian, is she? Is she a barbarian? This is a little weird. Okay, but either way, Rhonda joins in. Tons of hits on the A1 ability. She's not a high elf, right? She's Banner Lord? Uh, Rhonda, there we go. Banner Lord. Okay, barbarian? That, uh, that's kind of weird. Um, all right, so passive ability, 15% chance to join an attack whenever an ally attacks an enemy. So basically, the thought process is Razzlevarg doing tons of attacks. Rhonda is going to have a lot more chances to actually join in to be expected, right? So I may test those two champions out, but let me know what kind of content you want to see our dude Razzlevarg in to help you decide if you want to go for it. Now, looking at the fusion schedule, we got to pull up over here. It's actually pretty good. We've had several fusions recently that have been absolute nightmares. Fusions that require you to do every single event. In other words, they have no epic achievable. It's only the rare champions. But in this one, if you pick up the summon rush down here at the bottom, you're going to have basically four rare champions in this one epic. Of course, I mean, it takes four epics or four four epics to make the legendary fusion and then four rares to make each epic, as you can see over here. If you just pick up one of the epics, you can skip out on four events. So my plans for this event are going to be as follows. Tomorrow, I'm not going to do anything today. Tomorrow, I'm going to do some dragon farming as well as some champion training. So I'm going to do either duo stage 10 hard mode dragon or solo one of the normal stages of dragon. So we're going to double dip in the dragon tournament, the champion training tournament, and actually triple dipping into the dungeon diver tournament that all starts. Well, the dungeon diver starts tomorrow and the dragon and champion training tournaments will be in tomorrow as well. So I'm going to do that for tomorrow into Saturday. Sunday, the events are going to end very early in the morning for me. So I'm hoping to complete at least the dragon and champion training by Saturday and then possibly the dungeon diver as well. So we're getting 3x points, basically, you can call it, because we're dipping into three events. My goal is going to be able to finish the Summon Rush to get the, the rare. I have to do that, right? And then my next goal is to be able to finish the Summon Rush to get the epic as well. And we're going to see how achievable that's going to be when we get actually into tomorrow. Hopefully, it's not an insane amount of points. And if it's not, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that epic. Now, assuming all goes well and I pick up that epic, that's going to allow me to mark off four events. But to be honest, I'm not trying to mark off all four because I sometimes forget and I may miss an extra one. So I don't want to end up missing five and then not having enough rares. So I am going to mark off two. Okay, so I'm going to plan to skip Ice Golem. I don't really need to farm Ice Golem. However, I'm not a hater of Ice Golem. I kind of like Ice Golem. I think Ice Golem has some good gear. Uh, Taking a look at it, we have, uh, we have Provoke set, which is really good for Hydra. We have Reflex, also really good for Hydra. Two sets that are really good for Hydra and a lot of sets that are really not used. So Ice Golem isn't bad to farm, but I'm probably going to skip it. I'd rather spend my energy elsewhere. So we're skipping Ice Golem, and then I plan to skip the Champion Chase Tournament. And the reason for that is because I'm probably not going to have enough shards. I'm going to go all in on the Summon Rush, which, if you don't know, Summon Rush are events, so those give you points based on the shards you open. Sacreds and Voids are going to be the most valuable in those events. You can see it in here. Summon Rush is going to start tomorrow. Sacreds, Voids are going to be your best bet. Ancients are not going to be good to open up. During a champion chase tournament, you're going to get points for anything that comes out of the portal. So if you have fragments saved up, if you have um, 2x event, maybe it's a 2x ancient event, for example, it's probably not going to be during this fusion, but say it was, it's a really good time to pull because you're going to have a better chance to get epics and you're going to get a lot more points in general. So during summon rush events, sacreds and voids are going to be your best bet. And then during champion chase, ancients, uh, fusions, previous fusions, fragment summons, whatever it may be, are going to be a very solid way to collect points then. But for me, I'm not doing very good on shards right now. So I'm going to plan to skip that champion chase. So, so far, we have one, two, three, four copies of their rare, 
plus an epic. So we're sitting at total of eight copies of the rare, essentially. The next ones I'm gonna pick up are Classic Arena and Artifact Enhancement. Hopefully I can get enough silver from the Dragon Tournament Champion training and then selling some stuff to finish out the Artifact Enhancement. I'm not extremely worried about that. It should be fairly accessible, even with my measly silver of three million. Honestly, if I can go in here to the clan shop, you guys know I love to do this. Actually, I hate to do it, but you know, I gotta do it sometimes. Pick up some of this silver, about four million if I buy all 10 of them. I usually don't love doing that, but sometimes, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta purchase all of the clan silver in the clan shop. So make sure you do your Hydra, and then you too can waste your clan gold on silver. Because man, silver, it goes so quick. It just disappears. I have a little bit, and then I have none. So hopefully we can finish the artifact enhancement, no problem. I can make it happen. Sell some accessories, I have quite a few. So we'll finish these two. So now we're at eight, nine, 10 total rares, okay? Coming down here, we have the Champion Training, Fire Knight, and Dungeon Divers, all starting at the same time. You guys know me, I love to triple dip whenever possible, so we will be doing exactly that. In the Champion Training, I'm gonna be using my Fire Knight Stage 25 team, which consists of Dark Kale, as well as Allure, to go farm Fire Knight Stage 25, as well as leveling up some food champions. So this will be my team for there. We're gonna have the two champions farming with some food. If I wasn't gonna do that, I'd probably just run whatever stage I wanted to. It doesn't really matter, and I would do the champion training separately. So I'll try to do this. It's gonna be a little bit slower. I may not be able to finish the champion training, but as long as I can finish the fire night, I will have, well, I'm gonna end it on Saturday because it ends very early for me on Sunday, most likely. So my time frame to finish fire night is probably gonna be from uh, next Thursday-ish until next Saturday. That's basically gonna be my goal. I don't wanna to wait too long and miss out on it. But I'm gonna have a few extra days until next Monday or the Monday after to actually finish that champion training tournament. So as long as I get all my Fire Knight runs in, the champion training tournament, I can finish it separately. So we'll see how that actually goes. And then Dungeon Divers, obviously I wanna make sure I finish that. The Fire Knight team that I have is gonna be about three and a half minutes. So we'll see how that goes. So by next Thursday, I should have a total of, for simplicity, 10 rares. Now it's actually gonna be six rare champions and then one epic champion before my tracking of my progress, I'm just gonna say 10 rares. So 10 rares by then, we need a total of 16. So to get my next six rares, I'm gonna get three from this champion training event, Fire Knight and Dungeon Diver, okay? My next three are gonna come from either the Artifact Enhancement event, the Classic Arena, the Spider Tournament, Dungeon Diver or Artifact Enhancement event. So basically, I'm giving myself plenty of options to go ahead and finish this. Ideally, I'm gonna finish it off with this Artifact Enhancement event, the Classic Arena, and the Spider Tournament. That's gonna be pretty easy. Or I could do Spider Tournament on Tuesday and double dip into the Dungeon Diver, which will honestly probably be easier than doing more Artifact Enhancement. So if I'm looking pretty good, maybe I skip the Artifact Enhancement as well. If I'm looking perfectly fine, if I'm clearing everything up to this point, or maybe I wanna do Ice Golem, skip the, ice, or the Artifact Enhancement event. It really depends on how my silver situation is looking. So at this point on Thursday, I'm gonna already have had 10 of the rare champions, six rares, one epic. From that point forward, I just need to get six more rare champions and I'm gonna be good to go. So I can pick up whatever six events here that I wanna do. I'm gonna definitely skip the champion chase. Ideally, I guess, skip the artifact enhancement and then pick up whichever other ones I can. I can skip one of them, perfectly fine. I could skip actually artifact enhancement here and then artifact enhancement here. But I'm not gonna plan on doing that. I'm gonna plan on finishing both of those and if something happens, say I oversleep for three days or whatever, and I miss all of the events or one entire event, then I can just pick up and make up for it in the future artifact enhancement events. So the ones I'm for sure doing, let's go ahead and make this green. Uh, green over here, boom. All right, so Dragon Tournament, yes. Champion Training Tournament, yes. Summon Rush, yes. Dungeon Diver, yes. Summon Rush at the bottom, picking up that epic champion. Very important if you can do that. If you can't do that, you're gonna have to go through all of the events. So really the planning, just try to triple dip when possible, and then, yeah, good luck. It's going to be more of a challenge, of course. Classic Arena, Artifact Enhancement Event. Champion Training, Fire Knight, Dungeon Diver. We have Classic Arena, Spider, Dungeon Diver. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the 4 is going to put us at 16. So if I do this exactly, I'm going to get 16. I have the possibility of maybe doing... Let's see, maybe he's gonna be orange, okay? So maybe do Ice Golem, maybe do, actually, let's let's do this one. Oh man, I just erased everything. All right, let's try this. Okay, well, okay, maybe, maybe do Ice Golem, maybe do this Artifact Enhancement event. 
maybe do this last one as well. So depends on how I'm feeling, depends on how my silver is looking, depending on how confident I feel will determine if I do the ice golem, if I do the last two artifact enhancement events. My silver situation is very bad. Some players you're going to have 100 million silver. That's going to be no problem. You can throw those in. That's going to be an easy one, two, three rares throughout the course of this event. So guys, hopefully that gives you some help. Like I said, triple dip whenever possible. Double dip if you can't triple dip. But honestly, if you can triple dip into points, champion training, dungeon plus dungeon divers, it's going to be super efficient with your resources. Best of luck if you decide to go for this fusion. I do plan to get some more videos out on this guy very, very soon. I want to try some Nightmare Hydra stuff with him, full auto. No Nekmothar. So yeah, look forward to that. Hopefully coming out very soon. Also look forward to a lot of live arena content because I'm definitely, I'm definitely excited for it. Definitely looking forward to some live arena at least enjoying it through this honeymoon honeymoon phase and the hype period and then we'll uh we'll determine it in the future as we move along okay so guys with that said thank you all very much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the next video